Hey everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I have a very small thrift haul to share with you. Uh, I picked up this tea strainer and I think I have a collection now because this is my third one that's kind of fancy and unique. It has some initials, looks like it says M-E-S and then it has little star uh, holes down there and I just I can't resist those stars there. So I polished it up. It also looks like it's a little bit of a lettuce or a cabbage motif as well. And just to share with you the other two that I have, I have this one. I don't believe it has any monogramming. And then I have the one that you would have seen if you watch my Christmas videos um, here that that one looks like it says C, maybe J, B. Yeah, so I think you have to have three things to have a collection. So there's my collection. And since this seems to be the area that they are being displayed in, I'm going to put this around here somewhere. Maybe resting up against the teapot. I wonder if I could stick, could stick a little ornament in there for, there we go. A little baking angel in there. Where I shopped was a church thrift store and I bought two pieces of clothing. I believe this was $8 and it is a loft top. My favorite part is the little ruffled collar there and it's black and white stripes. Although as I walked to the bus stop, I thought it could be navy, but I had it paired with black. Um, and it's a longer tunic length. I really like it. The other piece is this Talbot sweater. I spent $7 on it. It's got three quarter length sleeves. It's a gray, but has metallic, so basically silver. And it's 85% cashmere, and it has a little bit of spandex, and then it said metallic mixed in. I was thinking about what I could pair this with, and especially for Christmas or Christmas parties, and I have this J. Crew green skirt that I picked up at the Goodwill. I think back in October, and I thought that would be a nice mix. This grayish silver sweater with a, a flowy green skirt, and I really like the way that looks. I found two bags of dollhouse furniture, and we're doing some sculptures and some miniature scenes at school, and the one group is doing something based on a kitchen, so I thought this would be perfect. And the bags were $3.99 each. This is the rest of the dollhouse furniture. There was a dresser. This has a mirror um, that just came off the back of the uh, bunk bed and we have a rocking chair. And then this little table was originally $17.95 and I got all of this. It was two bags, $4 a piece. There's no rhyme or reason to this haul. It's just the things that I've found recently. So two things got added to the dining room table and I know I have a lot going on, but I'm enjoying it like that this year. The first is this transferware pitcher, which I just realized is the same design as the one on the front of this book. So I bought it because I just loved this front page. And I've got the deer and the lights on the table just like she does. So I need to find a candle that is the right size to fit in there because I really do like that look. We have chocolates in it now. Um, I found this on eBay and I'm looking at this. It's got... Uh, dark trees with the light tree in the center and then this little hmm, covered bridge like I'm pretty sure that's the exact same picture and there were many to choose from on eBay so that's really funny that it's so similar and the other thing are these candles red and white stripe they have a little bit of glitter and this summer, I got a pair of uh, gold and white checkerboard candles, and I really loved the graphic design that they brought into this room, mixed with everything else. So I decided to get a red and white pair, and I really like that red-orange color. It's a little bit different, and I like how it's mixed and matched with the different colors in here. So definitely my cottage centerpiece. And now on to some smaller finds. I got this velvet. I guess it's like a berry color, very soft velvet with some sequins and beads. I just love purses and velvet. And my friend actually gave me this pin, and I thought that pin would be really pretty added to that. 
This was in a bag at Savers for $3.99. There were two things in there. This was the only thing that I wanted. It is a Yadra Bell. It does have a chip, but the chip is on the side that has the year. And 1995, no real significance to me. So I would have just turned it around anyway. But I picked it up because I liked that it was bisque and it is a light purple color. And I have that Wedgwood piece that's purple. This comforter is purple. It's probably all reading gray right now, but it's all light purple. And I loved the holly motif around the edge. Just a pretty little scene. So this is the area where I have a lot of purple and I just thought that those two pieces would look nice together. I don't feel like you come across a lot of purple Christmas decorations. This was also in a bag for $3.99 and it is this iridescent glass cat and it's hand painted with holly and berries. So nicely done and there's no nothing wrong with the cat. I mean it's in perfect condition. And it's got a little Fenton sign there, and the bottom says hand painted by D. Frederick, and a little sticker. And I think I'm gonna give that to my son because he loves cats and it's Christmas. We'll see if he wants it. And then back to the church shop, I got this, which is probably a pocket square. And I think that the color and the design is beautiful. In person, it is dark, like pinks and purples. I don't know, this is kind of true to it, but this looks a little bit more orangey. And I just, the design is gorgeous. It was in its original packaging and the packaging says Liberty, but there's also the little tag somewhere in here. There we go. So I just think that is so beautiful. You could frame it and then put another picture over top. So this would look like a mat behind it. Um, look at all that detail. And then the last thing I got was this set of jewelry and uh, it's marked that one, 120, 12 carat. So I guess that's gold filled or gold coated, something like that. Uh, but you know, me and rhinestones, I cannot pass them up. And that one's beautiful green. I might actually wear it to school tomorrow because we have our Christmas concert. And I'm going to wear that um, outfit that I shared earlier, the the silver top and the, the green skirt, and then some earrings. A little set there. So that is it. Not a ton of things recently, but just enough to share with you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.